Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And a couple of weeks ago, I shot the video you see right here on your screen, how to redirect a um, CF 2.0 root domain to connect to your funnel. So as you know, in, uh, in 2.0, at least as of this time right now, June 25th of 2023, you always have to set up a subdomain in ClickFunnels. So it could be www.mydomain.com, you know, funnelhub.mydomain.com, site.mydomain.com, whatever you want it to be. You have to set that up and people keep asking the question as well, how can I use just the mydomain.com so that's what I give out to my customers, my clients, whoever. They just have to type in mydomain.com and it will then resolve to a funnel in this case here. So in this video, which I'll put a link to under this video wherever you see it, um, what, I, what I did in this video here is I showed not only the entire process of setting up the subdomain inside of ClickFunnels, but then how to redirect it. Um, or how to redirect the root domain to an actual funnel using that subdomain. So hopefully that was uh, clear enough. If not, uh, you'll understand once you watch these videos. And uh, so then uh, somebody came along a couple days later and asked this question. I guess it was two days ago now, so a couple weeks later. And they said, okay, well, how can I have my root domain go to my site homepage. So normally, the subdomain you set up, if you set it up properly, it will always resolve to your site homepage or what people call their site page or their funnel hub or whatever else. Technically, it really should be called the site homepage because it is the homepage of your site. It's the homepage for that workspace that you are building within. And so the question is, is how can I take the root domain and have that resolve essentially to its subdomain, which will then resolve to that site homepage. So let me show you how to get this set up. And like I said, I'm not going to go through the whole process because I go through that in the other video. So if you need to set up a domain in ClickFunnels 2.0 or a subdomain more specifically, go watch that video first. And then I will show you in this one how to get uh, your root pointing at the uh, site homepage. So we're going to come over here. That's the wrong one. Where is what I'm looking for? Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This is our, our account inside of Cloudflare. Again, the other video shows you how to get all that set up. And so let's go into my 2.0 account here. And we're going to see that I set up this domain already and what it is here or the subdomain again, uh, to be accurate, funnels.cfninjadesigns.com have that all set up in here. We can look at the DNS tables. That's all set up. The DKIM key is all set up for the email. So it is ready to go in here. And then what I did is, this is something you actually don't have to do, but in this case here, what I did is I have the that subdomain set as the main domain for this workspace and you set that up by coming into your site settings and your domains and you can pick your domain right here and uh, then you just update your site. So now we have the funnels.mydomain version of this pointing at the site homepage. But like I said, you could pick, pick any one of your other domains and have it also pointing here. You just have to make sure then when you set this up, you tell it to point at whatever that subdomain is that you have set here as your site homepage. So what I'm really saying is you could use any, any root domain to point it to the site homepage. So you can have xyzdomain.com pointing at funnels.cfninjadesigns.com. In my case right here, I'm just taking the cfninjadesigns.com and I'm pointing that at the funnels.cfninjadesigns.com. So somebody can just say, hey, go to cfninjadesigns.com and you'll see my uh, my site homepage, which will again resolve to here. So let's take a look at that now in Cloudflare. Let me find the right one. And so what I show in the last video, as far as the DNS settings, you're going to leave those exactly the same. So these two down here, 
are the ones that you set up when you're setting up your normal uh, ClickFunnels subdomain. And then normally you would have like a www pointing at this right here, which means it's pointing at ClickFunnels. And then in this case here, we also have another subdomain, the Funnels subdomain, also pointing here. So if somebody were to type in www.com, cfninjadesigns.com or funnels.cfninjadesigns.com, if they both were pointing at ClickFunnels, they would both then resolve to that site homepage. In this case here, what I'm saying is if somebody types in www.cfninjadesigns.com, what I want it to do is I want it to point at cfninjadesigns.com which then in turn will point at ClickFunnels. The reason why you do this is just, if you say to somebody here, here's my root domain, here's cfninjadesigns.com, they may put www in front of it. I was talking to a client one day and she said, oh, I always put www in front of a root domain. And I'm just like, uh, okay, I gotta make sure I, I you know, make account for that, uh, that uh, corner case right there with the triple W. So, WWW is pointing at the root domain. The root domain is pointing at ClickFunnels, and the other subdomain is also pointing at ClickFunnels, which you already saw that we set as our site home page um, uh, subdomain right there. So we have that. Now, the thing that I changed up on this for this one here is under our page rules, I turned off the two I had here. So in the last video, one of the last examples I was showing was how to take something like, in this case here, again, rcfninjadesigns.com and pointing that over to a completely different uh, a completely different subdomain. So in this case here, it's hub.funnelcodesecrets.com slash test. And so what that was going to do is whether somebody typed in CF Ninja Designs or www cf ninja designs it was going to then resolve to a specific funnel so instead of what we're doing now is having it resolve to the site homepage in this case here it was resolving to a different funnel on a different root domain as well and i guess a different subdomain as well too so in this case here so i turned these two off i just clicked those off because i didn't want to remove them from my account so i just turned them off and i turned on a new one that just simply says we're going to take our cfninjadesigns.com and actually technically what i should do on here is let me take off the front bit of this here because I really should not have that on there. So we're just going to take our cfninjadesigns.com slash asterisk. So anything they type after the slash is going to come down here and be put on where the dollar sign one is down here at the bottom. And we're saying we want to go have a forwarding URL, have it be a 301 permanent redirect like we do with all of these. And then we're going to have that go to again, what is now our site homepage. So right here, funnels.cfninjadesigns.com, as you saw, is our site homepage. And if by chance you happen to say, oh, go to cfninjadesigns.com slash about, then it would resolve to funnels.cfninjadesigns.com slash about. So you can still do this. You can still give them a path to go to a particular page inside of your site homepage, inside of your funnel hub, if you want to call it that. And um, also, uh, yeah, so you can have them go to a specific page or you can just have them go to the root domain itself. So we're going to save these page rules. And what we're going to do then, and let me see here, page rule, just give me a violation. It shouldn't be giving me a violation, should it? So let me see here, page rule violation. Your zone already has an existing page rule with that URL. Oh, okay, because let me see here, because I already had these two right here. So in this case here, just to get it to work, I'm going to put, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put the HTTP back in here just to get this to work because what I would have to do is I would have to come down here and delete this one out. And again, just for our sake right now, I don't want to uh, have to delete that out. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take our cfninjadesigns.com. I'm going to copy this. We're going to open up a new incognito window. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to hit enter and boom, here we go. Uh, we land on the 
funnel hub page, the site homepage that I built for the funnel builder certification program. So that's exactly where it should have resolved to. And you can see that right here on this page right there, that that is the same page as you're looking at right there. So that is it. That's a simple way where you can have your, have any root domain because it would not have to be the same root domain here. Instead of CF Ninja Designs, like I said, it could be xyz.com and you could have it point over here to this, uh, this funnel hub, this uh, site homepage just as well. So there you go. If you have any questions, just let me know.